bringing hope the world over. Hope Channel. Isang magandang umaga na naman po sa inyong lahat. For our topic for the day, we'll talk about posture. And posture is very significant sa bawat isa sa atin. It promotes confidence and it gives other people the idea na lagi tayo on the go. But what happens if our posture is affected? Naku, malaking problema yan. That is why we are here today to help you come up with an exercise that will help you in maintaining or correcting and have good posture. Dito pa rin, where we start our day the good way, healthy morning start. Our episode is focused on exercises for good posture. Gano'n ba ba kahalaga ang good posture and what exercises can we do in order to improve it? Lahat nun yan ay ating sasagutin sa pagpapatuloy ng ating programa. But before that, let us watch this video. Sabi nga nila, kung ang ating mga mata daw ay salamin ng ating kaluluwa, ang posture naman daw ang lente ng ating kalusugan. Sawa na ba kayong tignan ang sarili nyo at parang palaging problemado, pagod, matamlay, at parang sampung taon ang itinanda? Sa maghapong pagtatrabaho at pananitili sa opisina, maghapon din tayong nakaupo. Imagine, halos kalahating araw o higit pa ang ginugugol natin sa pagtutok sa tambak-tambak na gawain sa opisina. Paano ka naman hindi mawawala ng posture niyan? Pero, don't worry mga kaibigan, pag-uusapan po natin ngayon ang mga solusyon at payo ukol sa problema yan. Makakasama natin ngayon si Dr. Jamilo Di Castro, isang Doctor of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation na magbibigay kaalaman sa atin sa pangangalaga ng ating posture. Ang posture po ay isang karakteristik po ng isang tao na nag-differentiate sa atin sa mga animals na kung saan yung line of gravity ng falls natin ay balance for front and back, right and left side. Yung pag hindi pag-observe ng ganong tamang posture, mag-contribute yun sa sakit sa likod or sakit, uh, magkakaproblema sa posture. So it's either it's caused by prolonged standing na mali ang posture prolonged sitting na mali ang posture or maling paghiga rin. Okay, kasi iba-iba ang depende sa age group. But of course, ang common na kinocomplain ng pasyente sa bad posture is pag nagbuhat ng mabigat, na mali ang posture. So dapat, at least, pag ang taang posture, pag nagbuhat ng mabigat is ilapit mo yung weight sa center ng katawan mo and then i-bend mo yung knees and then saka mo ataas. Hindi yung para nakabend yung hips naka-straight ang tuhod, sasakit talaga ang likod mo nun. So that's one way to observe kung ano yung tamang posture at saka hindi. At saka sa mga bata, di ba, ang mga bata ngayon, ang bibigat ng mga libro. Okay, so, yes, yeah, sa school. So kailangan, wag silang pabitbitin ng mabigat ng mga libro. Instead, let them use a trolley. Imbis na yung backpack o kaya naman uh, bag na nandun sa isang side. Kasi yun naman nag-contribute naman ng scoliosis. Then the other thing for ladies is yung heels. Maganda silang tingnan kasi sexy pag naka-heels. Kaya lang pag nag-heels ka, ang mangyayari is yung, yung center of gravity mo mag-shift a little anterior tapos mag-compensate ka, i-arc mo yung likod. Pag in mo yung likod, magkakaroon ka ng lordosis naman sa spine mo na parang ang lalim ng likod mo. Halos pag sumandal sa sapader, pwede mong isiksik yung kamay mo sa likod. So, ibig sabihin, sobrang exaggerated na yung lordosis niya. Sa atin po, may nakaugalian na tayong mga position. And to us, that is our most comfortable position. Kumbaga, if we have reached a certain point na medyo nasa middle age na tayo, it's very hard to correct that. Pero mas maganda, as early as now, if we realize na may problema tayo sa positioning, the, the way we sit, the way we walk, the way we stand, the way we conduct ourselves, It's very important na medyo bigyan natin ng pansin because in the future, pag tumanda tayo, doon lang natin ma-feel at ma-realize na it pays pala to actually uh, observe the proper posture because it will impact on our personality. 
pag maganda ang posture natin, confidence natin, at maganda, hindi tayo nahihiya, hindi tayo nahalangan, hindi tayo nasa shy, kasi maganda yung ating posture. I hope the video gave you an idea about the downside of poor posture. Ngayon, eh, tuturuan na namin kayo na magkaroon ng variety of exercises to improve your posture. With me are my fitness partners, Ria and Alvin, and let's start with our first warm-up exercise. First, we will introduce that there are four areas we're in. We need to focus on to provide good posture. So we'll start first with the first area, and that is strengthening our core. Our core muscles is need to batayon in the midsection. It helps us in the walking or a standing. And we, if we have strong force, magaganda din yung magiging posture natin. So let's strengthen our course with these exercises. For our first exercise, we'll be needing a mat. So if you have mats at home, an exercise mat, a yoga mat, or something that you will be comfortable with when, while you are on the floor, let's use that. So we'll all lie down for our first exercises using a basic crunches. Okay, so let's all lie down with our head, uh, with our back on the floor. Then put our hands interlock behind our head. And then for crunches, we just raise our head up, down, up, and down. And every time we raise it up, we use the upper body natin to move and do the crunches. We don't use our hands na parang ito push natin na ganun kasi mas stress yung ating leg, which is not a good idea. It's very also bad for posture also. So again, just use your body to move forward and then down, forward and then down. We'll do this for two sets or 16 counts. Ready? In five, four, three, two, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold the front position, hold it, and down. Okay, now let's do the next exercise for our core muscles, and this would be the side planks. So for our side planks, we could use our elbows to support yung body natin. And then for two variations, we could straighten it on the sides para mag strengthen yung core. And then for the others, na medyo nahihirapan, you could just uh, take it from the knees. So, fold natin do and raise yung sides natin. So, that's just another variation. Uh, Ria will be showing yung sa knees lang, eh, while Adrian and I will be doing it yung full na side planks. And we'll be doing this for two sets or 16 counts. Okay, ready? We raise it in five, four, three, two, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now let's go to the other side. So again, you could have you could choose between the two alternatives. And make sure your legs are straight and have a good support in your arms. Five, four, three, two, one, and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, down. Those are the side planks for our core muscles. And now for our next exercise would be crunching with a twist. So still we'll be lying on our back. Okay, there. And for crunching with a twist, we'll be putting our hands at the back. And then our left leg up. And then we put our right leg, uh, we try to use our right elbow to reach our left knee. Okay, so you crunching that in with a twist. So we'll do it on one side first for two sets or 16 counts. Ready? And five, four, three, two, and one. Down, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, now back to the neutral position and then raise your right leg and then we'll move our left elbow now towards our right knee. Ready? And five, four, three, two, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, back to resting position. And now we're going to do yung uh, cross crunches. So for the cross crunches, similar lang kanina, but this time we move it to the right, and then alternately we'll go to the left, and then right, and then left. So alternate lang tayo. So ready? In five, four, three, two, and one. Down, two, down, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, and rest it a bit. Then let's move up for our next exercise. Let's all stand up. For our next exercise, this is still for our core muscles. Let's all stand up and do the standing side bend. For the standing side bend, we just raise our hands up and then go to the sides, right first, and then center, and then left. If you have a towel with you, you could hold it in both arms para makakatulong on maintaining your balance. And maganda yung pag-stretch ng katawan natin para magiging balance din kung saan yung left, right and left hand natin. So that's kung meron kayo towel. But if not, that would also do. So for side bends, we just go to the right, center, left, center, and we'll do this for two sets or 16 counts. Ready? And five, four, three, two, and one. Center, two, center, three, center, four, center, five, center, six, center, seven, center, eight, center. Again, feel your core muscles doing all the work. Okay, and bend it. Bend it very well to the sides. There you go. That's nice. And four, three, two, and one. Okay, that's it. So those are our exercises for our core muscles, which is important in order to maintain good posture. Your next, next set of exercises naman natin is to fix rounded shoulders. So we want kapag good posture tayo, maganda yung core muscles natin and our shoulders are not rounded. So medyo straight siya and a bit uh, flat on the side, medyo sharp looking. So we want to look and stand straight at the core muscles and not to be this slouch. So we want to have good fixed shoulders. So first would be yung standing chest stretch. And this is how we do yung standing chest stretch. Stretch natin. I'll show it to you from the side. So you put our hands back, our fingers will be interlocked, and then we push our hands and expand your chest area natin. So push this down and expand your chest area natin. Then we hold this position for two sets or 16 counts. Okay, ready? In five, four, three, two, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, now let's face front and do the next stretch. This would be the torso stretch. The tor torso stretch naman yun would be just put your hands up. Okay, up high. Then just simple as that and hold that position for two sets or 16 pounds. So medyo put it a little bit back and make sure na straight yung katawan you don't have to move back talaga or medyo naka lean forward so just straight parang yun yun you're trying to imitate a good posture with this stretch 
Okay, ready? In five counts, five, four, three, two, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Our next exercise would be your standing quad stretch. So if you've seen the previous episodes, we've been doing quad stretches, but sometimes sitting down or, li or lying down. But this time, we stand tayo. Kasi nga, we want to have good posture while standing. And to do the quad stretch while standing is, uh, I'll show it to you on the side. We just have to grab yung uh, right foot natin with our right hand and press it on the back. And to maintain our balance, you could have you could hold on the wall or extend your lang yung arms niyo, or you could kaya naman you could stand straight lang. And we'll do this stretch. We'll hold it for uh, two sets or 16 counts. Okay, ready? We'll do this stretch in five, four, three, two, and one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we move into our next leg. So we face the other way. And to do it on the other side, we raise we use our left hand and touch our left foot. Okay, then we extend our quads a bit back. Para mas stretch to. And then your shoulders not and should be straight. So we to then maintain our balance. You ready? So we'll do this again in two sets or 16 counts. You ready? Lift our legs. Maintain our balance in five, four, three, two, and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, that's our set in order to fix yung rounded shoulders natin. So again, in order to improve posture, first we need a good core and then rounded shoulders. Fix that rounded shoulders. Next would be to neutralize naman yung tilted hips. Medyo dapat hindi tayo uh, uh, balanced tayo in the center so hindi tayo swing masyado from side to side. So we need to have new, uh, balanced hips and we need to neutralize yung mga tilted hips na yan. And we have a few exercises to do that. So We've been needing our mats this time and we're gonna do your bridges. So for the bridges, this is a bit different to the previous episodes that we had. So for the bridges, we'll be raising it uh, one at a time. Parang naka-level siya instead of raising it high up talaga. So this is how we do it. So raise muna halfway and then up, then down. So that's how we do the bridges. So middle, up, and then down. Okay, so this is a way to neutralize some tilted hips natin and improve our posture. Okay, and that is one exercise wherein we could neutralize your tilted hips natin and improve good posture. So, we already gave you uh, the three the elements in order to have good posture. First, we need to strengthen our core. The next is to fix your rounded na shoulders natin. Then the third is to neutralize your tilted hips. Then the last the element in order to have good posture is to make sure that we retract also a forward head. So we don't want na nakaganon yung ulo natin while we're standing or walking. We want it to be retracted and straight pa rin yung katawan to have that good posture. And this exercise would be perfect to help us retract yung forward head. So we'll do this with exercise, uh, mga head exercises na to. Just one exercise to show you, we cross our legs. And then for our head uh, neck stretches, what we're doing is we tilt it to the right and then forward, tilt it to the left, and then back. Okay, so right, forward, left, and then back. So we do that again for two sets or 16 counts. And ready? In five, four, three, two, and one. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. And one. Okay. 
Okay, that's good. And let's all stand up for a little cool down. We'll start with some uh, cool down from the neck and then a breathing exercise. So let's cool down from our neck. Breathe normally in five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, we'll have a few breathing exercises. Inhale and exhale. Hands on your hips and inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last set, inhale, and exhale. Okay, so again, reminder, if you want to have good posture, there would be four areas to look upon. First would be the core, we need to strengthen it. We need to correct the rounded shoulders, natin. And then we also need to neutralize our tilted hips. And finally, we need to retract yung uh, tilted head natin. So those are our four tips in order to have a good posture. And those are just some of the examples of exercises that we can do to improve our posture. Tandaan po natin na pwede natin gawin ang kahit anong variety ng exercise depending on our preference and capability. And now to give us more idea about how important exercise is, let's have an advice from our resident physical therapist na si Sir Elizar Katangay. Sir Eli, take it away! Salamat sa iyo, Gino. Ang posture po ay napakahalaga. Madalas nating marinig na kinakailangan nasa tamang posture. Subalit, madalas din nating nasusubukan na tayo ay nagkakaroon ng hindi magandang posture. Ano ba ba ang kalagahan na dapat nasa tamang posture tayo? Unang-una po, pag tayo nasa tamang posture, ito ay nagre-reflect ng ating magandang personalidad. Nagkakaroon tayo ng confidence sa ating sarili. Ano nga bang ibig sabihin ng salitang posture? Ito po ay ang tamang pamamaraan kung paano natin ilalagay sa tamang posisyon at nasa magandang ayos ang ating katawan. Na kung tayo nakatayo, ang ating mga paa ay nakaapak ng stable sa lupa ang ating mga paa ay ayos ang kalagayan at ang ating balikat ay hindi nakabagsak kundi ito'y nakatuwid. Para natin maiwasan ang hindi magandang posture, kinakailangan ang ating mga muscles na nagmimaintain ng ating balikat at ng ating ulo ay mapanatili nating malakas upang maiwasan natin ang pagbagsak ng ating balikat at pag ng bahagya. Kinakailangan tayo ay laging nasa tamang posture. Bakit nga po ba merong mga bad posture? Anong mga dahilan kung bakit nakaka-experience tayo ng bad posture? Unang-una, pag ang ating mga muscles na ito ay naghihina, nakaka-experience tayo ng fatigue. Hindi natin na mamalayan ang ating mga balikat ay bumabagsak na at tayo ay napapayoko na. At pag ito ay natin ating naranasan, nagiging komportable na tayo sa ganitong kalalagayan hanggat sa nasanay na tayo. Pag tayo po ay nasanay na sa ganong kalalagayan, maaaring magkaroon tayo ng mga problema sa liig. Meron pong mga spondylitis na tinatawag ang mga doktor na kung saan ang ating mga liig ay nananakit, apektado ang mga muscles, pati ang mga nerves dito sa ating likuran liig. Kaya po, mahalaga na i-maintain natin na maganda ang ating tayo. Paano po ba natin mapapanatili ang magandang posture? Tandaan po natin, ang pag-exercise ng ating mga muscles na humahawak sa ating likod, sa ating balikat, kinakailangan mapanatili natin silang malakas upang hindi laging napapagod na kayang kaya nilang ihawakan ng maayos ang ating katawan. Tandaan po natin, pag tayo nag exercise yung pag-inhale at pag-exhale para mapanatili natin ang magandang uh, supply ng oxygen. At yun nga po pala, pag nasa tamang posture tayo, 
ito'y nakakatulong sa respiratory system ng ating katawan. Hindi nagkakaroon ng balakid o hindi na babarahan ang mga daanan ng hangin sa ating paghinga, pagpasok at paglabas ng hangin. Kaya napakaganda ng uh, takbo ng ating mga pangangatawan. Isa pa po dapat natin dandaan na ang posture ay nakakapagpadagdag ng ating self-confidence. Hindi tayo mahihiyang humarap kahit sinong tao ang ating uh, kausap. Kung meron tayong mga meeting na inaattendan, kung meron tayong mga seminars na uh, nagpaparticipate tayo, pag nasa tamang posture tayo, confident na confident tayo na alam natin kung ano ang ating sinasabi at ibabahagi sa kanila. Kaya po mga kaibigan, lagi nating tatandaan na magkaroon tayo ng magandang posture, panatilihin natin na malakas ang ating katawan upang lagi tayong okay na okay, magiging healthy tayo, magiging tayong masaya at uh, maligaya sa ating mga buhay. Back to you, Gino! Alright! And thank you very much, sirs, and I'm sure marami naman natutunan ang ating mga televiewers. And now, before we end, let's all pause for a short prayer. Let us all pray. Our loving Father in heaven, we thank you, dear Lord, for this beautiful morning that you've given us. We thank you, dear Lord, for what we learned about good posture, and may from it come out also good character and good deeds that is worthy to be called your children. We thank you, dear Lord, for all the blessings that we receive and continue to guide us in all our decisions and our actions. And in this we all ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Okay, and I guess we don't have much time. Salamat sa pagtutok po ninyo sa aming programang pangkalakasan. Patuloy po kayong sumuporta sa aming programa and I guarantee you na hindi lang kayong matututo ng mga exercises kundi mararamdaman nyo din ang pangangalaga ng Diyos sa inyo. Dito pa rin, where we start our day the good way, healthy morning start! You're watching Hope Channel, 
around the world.